What's up guys, it's Unchained here for another Let's Play Halo 4 multiplayer. I really should start numbering these so they don't get kind of confusing after a while. This is most likely going to be my last um, multiplayer group set of uploads until I decide to uh, do a little Let's Play myself, which I'm not entirely sure what that will be. Oh, it's a joint in progress, but it's okay. It's only a handful of kills into it. I'm sure oh, these people are awful and I'm going to end up on the top of the leaderboard anyway. But no, I didn't warm up. So when I go into any of these matches unwarmed up, I'm very, very twitchy. So expect me to be all over the screen. That's totally fine. Yeah, I, I guess I, I can't really get my act together with Let's Plays tonight. I'm just kind of tired. I'm not really... I don't know. I'm not tired like I'm going to go to bed, but I just feel like shit. Um, I, I tried to take a nap earlier, but I had one of those little sleep, sleep paralysis episodes where your whole body goes numb and you know you're consciously doing it and you can't physically move. Usually happens during periods of increased stress and you're not being cr cr What the fuck, man? I can't talk. I was saying you're not being creative and... God. Fuck stuttering. <laughs> fuck it. Oh, man. I will eventually stop this stuttering thing. Maybe I need some sort of medication. I don't know. I, I never used to do, a do it that much. I don't remember stuttering that much. Especially in college, I never really used to do it. I always had really bad social anxiety, but in college, I kind of... Uh, try to help the situation by taking a lot of classes that involve like public speaking and stuff like I took a poetry class and uh because I like to well I used to like, like to write lyrics my whole life so I was like eh, why not do a poetry class obviously I got an A in that you know why take an elective that you're not going to get an A in electives are supposed to be fun or you know different from your standard major just to improve your grades I was like yeah why not do poetry I've uh, written lyrics my whole life that'll be fun then another uh elective I took was a storytelling class where you basically talk to the class as if they're little kids and um, that was very nerve-wracking because you basically had a lot of presentations that involved uh, sock puppets, finger puppets, uh, voice impressions, just weird shit. Things that you wouldn't expect to be in a college class but I enjoyed it and there were hot girls in the class so it was worth worthwhile nonetheless and it helped me out. Um, today I got to meet the vice president of a pretty big company and uh, it just it makes me realize more and more about how I guess I should have taken an internship and in, internship in college. Uh, I don't know when I was in high school. I guess I never really gave a fuck about anything, um, especially because I moved to uh, North Carolina from New York. And uh, if you guys have ever been in a situation where you know you've moved and you just feel like alone, I've been there and it sucks balls. And I'm gonna tell you, it gets better. And when you do move and it's like over and done with, it's like eh, okay, I'm at least comfortable here. You know. The thing is, you don't necessarily need friends or a relationship in order to feel comfortable in an environment. You need to be there for a while until you start to settle in. And that, that applies to a number of different things, like new jobs and, uh, you know, new, new houses and just everything, really. Um, yeah, that was just unfortunate. I guess I should have aimed forward before I went to look at the hill. Let's see if I get another chance at this. That's better, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I just picked it right up and shot him. Um... But yeah, when I moved, that was really hard for me. And I, I guess it, I, it made me a little rebellious in high school. I didn't really care about anything when I moved down here because I left my friends. But my parents were like, well, you don't have a girlfriend and you weren't in any clubs or doing any sports events. So I can't even right now. And they were like, uh, maybe if I felt like you were more involved in the school, you would have like maybe tried to, you know, explore other options instead of just moving. You know, just to show us that you actually care about living here. Because I was always, like, I guess, a very independent kid. I kind of always did my own thing. I never... I guess talk to my parents about my issues, about like what you know what was bothering me at that current time. So they never knew what was what was on my mind. So I kind of just, you know, suffered my own way. But uh, I guess the reason I bring this up is, you know, in life you're always gonna have these certain situations where you're like stressed out, and you know, you, there's new changes, whether it be you're going into a new school or you're going to college or you're trying to find a job. You know, everybody has different ways of coping with it. And uh, one of my ways is obviously to play video games. It's definitely entertaining, addicting, something to obsess over. It's uh, it's, it's also a good avoidance technique, which kind of sucks. And uh, that guy should have died. That's bullshit. But yeah, I, I play games to the point where it, I guess it helps me block out a lot of reality. So when I was uh, in high school, I didn't really give a shit about too many things. I, uh, I didn't really give a rat's ass to study. I wasn't a rebellious kid, like, I wow, well, I can't even, that's how you know I'm doing well when I can't even with the incinerator cannon. But, uh, yeah, I didn't really study at all. I got my work done in the library, so when I got home, I kind of just played video games, I guess. Um, when I went to college, it was more of a, uh, an eye-opening experience. You know, I, I never really wanted to go to college, I guess. 
you know, uh, th thank my parents for that. They kind of forced me. And, you know, and I'm not a stupid person either. I would never consider myself stupid. But I was never, I guess, academically motivated. If I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up, I sure as hell would have gone to college. I would have gone to college. I would have really thought about what, what I wanted my degree to be in. And then as soon as I got out, it, you know, just like I'm in, I am now, I have my degree, I'm graduated, then I would know what I wanted to do for a career. But since I didn't know what I wanted to do in college, it got to the point where, you know, everything was just kind of, I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was being run on a leash. So I, cause I never really know what I wanted to do. So, you know, basically when you're trying to find a job when you don't even know what you want to do, you know, with yourself, it, it makes things very challenging. And in college, I didn't give a rat's ass, but, you know, having an internship or any sort of extracurricular activities, you know, I, I sort of just went to the gym and I uh, worked out quite a bit. I played video games quite a bit. And uh, that was the extent of it. So naturally, when I got out of college, it was, you know, even more eye-opening. Because I guess one of the biggest things that I always feared my whole life was to be done with college. Because, you know, it's the first decision that you actually need to make as an adult. Where you have to grow up and you need to, like, you know, work. You know, working at a food store. I've worked at a food store for about seven years. It's going to be seven years in uh, this coming September. And I have to... Oh, fuck you. That's why the infinity mode is just bullshit. You never know what they're gonna get. Had he not had the overshield, I might have had a chance, but I just gave away the goddamn saw. But yeah, working at a food store, it's you know, it's it's good people skills experience, and it's really it's a good job just to fuck around. But you know, as far as professionalism, let's face it, you're not gonna be professional working at a food store. I think the biggest thing that really bothers me though, when you like, you'll like always every so often you'll run into a customer that will overhear me talking to my coworkers or complaining about, you know, not, not finding a job and having all this difficulty and shit. Because, like, you know, I didn't think this actually existed until I looked it up. There's actually something called, uh, I guess, a quarter-life crisis or post-college depression. And I guess that's what I've been going through. So it, it's a little bit... It's definitely a guy behind me, I think. But it, it's definitely a little bit of a challenge. It's, um, you know, there's a times in, in your life when things are going to be changing. And it's, you know, there's a different... Definitely a bunch of different ways to get through it, especially, you know, if you have friends, they're always there to support you. You always need a support system in life, otherwise you're going to pretty much be doing everything on your own. That's that's one of my, uh, I guess, famous thoughts. I never said it out loud, but I'm saying it now. In life, I feel like you either need a support system or a distraction and avoidance technique to get through all of life's problems. If you don't happen to have either of those, or, you know, I'm saying like either or, if you have none of them, then a lot of people turn to, like, drugs and alcohol. Like, I drink once in a while, but I don't really use it. I don't abuse it. I, I use it once in a while, especially when I'm playing games. I don't, like, drink all the time. Like, some people drink all the fucking time. But you need a support system, and you need good friends. You need to have that thing that kind of just takes you away from it. Because let's face it, life sucks balls. No one wants to put up with anything. What really bothers me, though, and I guess this is one of my biggest pet peeves, is when you tell customers about certain things, or they come up to you and, like, they'll overhear you talking, and, like, just out of random conversation, they'll be like, oh, everything will be okay. Like, when, when you're single, like, somebody will give you that advice, like, oh, don't worry, when the right one comes around, you'll know, and everything will be fine. Or, you know, a parent might even say that to you. Or, you know, when you're unemployed and you're in between jobs, you, somebody could sit there and say, oh, don't worry, it'll, it'll, it'll be okay. You know, it took my husband or it took my friend two years to find a job. It's like, do I want to hear that when I've been sitting at home for six months? <laughs> it's like, no. It, what really bothers me is, I was like, I know people are trying to help, but sometimes it just makes it worse. It's like, oh, you're not making me feel any better. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Oh, man, it's definitely annoying when people are like that. Because it's like, you don't know my situation. You have no clue if I'd ever find a girlfriend. You'd have no clue if I'd ever find a job. You don't know me. But, yeah, people are like that. Most of the time, you just need to tune out the outside noise. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do another uh, multiplayer recording for Halo 4. That was just one of them, and that was me failing to warm up. Honestly, that's usually about how good I do when I'm warming up. I usually go slightly negative. Or I'll break even if I'm lucky. I'm slightly positive. Um, but yeah, until I figure out what I'm gonna let's play, I was thinking of actually doing DuckTales. Um, that just came out for Steam, uh, Nintendo Network, and the PlayStation Network. So I might play that on my Wii U because I don't have access to the other two. Well, I guess I could do Steam, but I, I don't know. I don't, want, I don't play anything on the computer. Uh, but yeah, DuckTales would be cool. I never played the original NES one, and it might be fun to let's play the HD remake. And it's only because it's 
two or three hours long. That'd be a really painless let's play. So tune in for more, and uh, I'll ramble about just random shit, and we'll see. I think it's going to be another Halo 4 multiplayer video. Thanks for watching, guys.